Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about a movie called Wide Elephant, directed by this guy and released very under the radar. Does it suck? Are you in luck? Stay tuned till the end to find out. Let's get into it. The plot, according to IMDb, is an ex-marine enforcer must battle his conscience and his code of honor when he is forced to do things for the mob. Why am I telling you that? Because I don't remember that being part of the Dagon movie. I mean, to its credit, there was a guy, and he was in the military, and he is now working for the mob, but um, I don't remember there being any code of honor or conscience surrounding him. Now all I remember about the so-called plot is that there was a mob that has Bruce Willis at the head and two enforcers that we follow around. One of them played by Michael Rooker, and one of them played by somebody else. And then we also have to follow a detective who is trying to figure the whole case out, but all she's really doing is taking up screen time and asking stupid questions and making exposition go farther. And she also has a military background, but for some reason within the gunfight, she doesn't know how to hold her gun correctly or how gunfights even work. And then there's also another organization that is against the main organization, but they're not really there for the majority of the movie and they don't really do much. Whenever they do show up and it looks like, oh, there's going to be a gang war, it just goes ahead and backtracks that crap because why? Why not? And if you're wondering why I said all that so quickly, it's because that's how fast the movie just keeps throwing things at your face and expecting it to stick. And yet, even though it has all that, it somehow feels boring, tedious, and repetitious. But before you click off, there are some positives and we will get into them. But before we do that, let's talk about the characters. Let's start off with that military man I was telling you about. The entire point of his character is the fact that he is going to grow up and he is going to take Michael Rooker's place as Bruce Willis's right-hand man. We learn that him and Rooker have been partners for a long time. They really lean in on that fact just to reveal that it was a holy crap, it was two whopping months. So obviously, they're pretty tight, you know, they're like brothers at this point. I do gotta ask though, why two months? This is a vocal declaration of your bond, okay? And you put, yeah, we've been partners for two months. Why would you not take the chance to artificially raise the stakes of your characters a little more and put something like, I don't know, six years, something that makes me think, wow, these people really care about each other, and if something happened, something went wrong, that'd be kind of depressing. But okay, let's go ahead and move on to Michael Rooker. He takes a mentor role in this, okay? He's not only a mentor to his new, I mean, oh, oof, my bad, his great partnership that's been going on for two months, but he's also a mentor to Bruce Willis's character. Yes, he's a mentor character and he works for the mob doing some pretty bad stuff, but he's not a bad guy. His wife wanted him to quit his way of life and go and help elephants, apparently, instead of people in Africa. And ever since she passed away, that good part inside of him that's definitely there wants to go and help elephants in Africa. He's a good guy like him. He wants to help elephants. You have to like him. He wants to help elephants. Believe it or not, that right there is the best of the characters. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest. We got good old Bruce Willis, and I'm gonna try to be as fair as possible here, given his condition. He was still acting here. His facial expressions still tried to give some sort of expression to the words coming out of his mouth. But it didn't seem like he wanted to be there, and I don't blame him for that, because if I was him, and if I was feeling the way he was possibly feeling, then I wouldn't want to be there either, especially in this movie. He sounded bored. There was no expression within his words. His tone was always about the same. And he has an excuse, whereas everybody else in this movie who had the same issue doesn't. All I gotta say is I respect the hustle, Bruce. You get that money while you can still get that money. The only thing that I think you had full control over, you could have had full power over, is if they called you Bruce Willis within the movie instead of Arnold. Arnold of all things. We, we, we gotta go, man. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here, man. We gotta go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, brother. Why do we gotta get out of here? What's going on? Oh, oh no, it's, 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 it's Arnold. Just, just no. Now remember, I can break your neck like a chicken. Okay, okay, maybe one Arnold is scary. Please don't snap my neck like a popsicle stick and we'll all listen to whatever you have to say. Yeah. Stick around. Got it. Last but not least, let's talk about the detective. 
She also has a military background, but you wouldn't know it if you're a visual learner because you only figure it out due to exposition. She doesn't hold a gun correctly, she doesn't take cover when she should, she doesn't do many things that makes a lot of sense. Like there is a really awfully edited action scene at like a motel and she is literally hip firing. The gun is literally being held at her hip. She walks out into the open even though she is surrounded by guys and somehow all of them don't gun her down. Woman, you're gonna get blasted doing stuff like this, but apparently not in this movie. Well, that was the past, and you know what they say. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> so maybe she's such a good detective that it had to encode over top of her military training. I wouldn't know, because she's not out here trying to solve any mysteries herself. She doesn't really do much anything. She actually just, I don't know, exists. She has one of her friends do all the investigating for her. You know, somebody that's not even a freaking detective. His job isn't to do this crap. She has him do it. I swear, she only exists to fill a quota so you can have that strong woman within your movie. She has no character though. She would have been okay if you actually developed her to be somebody that I can give two squats about. But instead, you made everything just come straight to her. Everybody just do everything for her. She spends most of the movie doing absolutely nothing. And then at the end, she gets her triumphant moment. She doesn't deserve a triumphant moment. She hasn't done anything. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this, but don't include characters in your movie if you don't actually want them there. Because if they don't add value, then there's a pretty good chance they're detracting from it. If you want to put a strong female character within your movie, that is totally fine. Just write them as strong as you portray them. And they did not do that here. Forget it, I'm not gonna sit in your lap. Trevor man, homie, you said that there were positives. Please get to the positives. You're kind of making me feel a little bit depressed. The positives. Okay, I'm just gonna make this one section because there's not that many. I'm sorry, okay? Please don't shoot the messenger. There are two action scenes that I actually thought were pretty good. One of them involves fighting kitchen help, surprisingly, and the other is at the end. It involves Michael Rooker gunning a bunch of people down, and it's not one take. There are some cuts in there that I can see, but it feels like it's one take. It feels free-flowing, and it was really well done. It was really well choreographed. It was the only part of the movie that I actually enjoyed, and it did actually make me smile, so thank you for that. And there was a fairly decent amount of gore effects throughout the movie, for action movie standards anyway. Oh, and Bruce Willis, although it's not a very good one, did have an action scene in here. But, does it suck? Or are you in luck? It sucks, and it sucked a whole lot of life out of me. If you'd like to make me feel a bit more fulfilled, go ahead and like. I'd really appreciate it. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Comment down below. This got me tusked up to confuse the ones that didn't. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and like always, have a great day. Thank you.